Well, thanks everybody for joining us tonight uh, for tonight's devotional. Uh, today again uh, in Brennan Manning's uh, devotional uh, Reflections for Ragamuffins. Um, and the devotional for today, you know, was, was kind of, it's short, but it's deep. Um, and it's called Abba's Child. And you may know Abba is Aramaic for father, but it's an intimate term. It's more like daddy. Uh, it's it's the kind of term that we use uh, in trust and and with a, a sense of, of deep closeness. Uh, and so Abba's child, Jesus, in whose body lives the fullness of divinity, Colossians 2.9, singularly understands the tenderness and compassion of the Father's heart. Eternally begotten from the Father, he is Abba's child. Why did Jesus love sinners, ragamuffins, and the rabble who knew nothing of the law? Because his Abba loved them. He did nothing on his own, but only what his Abba told him. Through meal sharing, preaching, teaching, and healing, Jesus acted out his understanding of the Father's indiscriminate love, a love that causes his Son to rise on bad men as well as good, and his reign to fall on honest and dishonest men alike, as it said in Matthew 5, 45. And Brendan Manning closes with a quote from Matthew 9, 36. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Now, there's a lot going on there. Um, and I just wanna highlight two things that stuck out to me tonight as I was reflecting on this earlier. First is, you know, sometimes there's a tendency to make um, good cop, bad cop out of God. Uh, like that God, capital G, the Old Testament God is, is the mean, angry God. Uh, and Jesus is the nice, good one who, who loves us. And, and somehow Jesus makes the other God okay with us, um, however reluctantly. And that's not true at all. In fact, you know, as we look into scripture, Jesus says over and over, he has come to reveal, uh, to reveal God to us, who God truly is. And I think Brendan Manning captures that, that sense of Jesus is only doing what the Father is all about, uh, because Jesus shares in that love, but points to the fact that God loves us um, and God is merciful uh, beyond the question of deserving, uh, which is often kind of that scandalous thing. It's, it's one of the things that got Jesus in trouble, was pointing out God's goodness to those who deserved it, which kind of everybody sort of agreed with anyway, but also that God was merciful to those who didn't deserve it and desired good uh, for those who were stuck in, in their brokenness. And in fact, that mercy being our only true way out of any of our brokenness or healing in relationship uh, comes ultimately because of an act of grace. And so just invite us to think about God's character. If this is really what God's like, if God is truly uh, love and, and not a, a sort of a, a weakened version of a flimsy version of, of what we mean by the word love, but that if God is truly loving, desiring the good for all that God has created, and if that desire extends to everyone beyond our deserving, which we say, uh, we say that in our, in our theology so often, and yet in our lives, we often create those hoops, right? Uh, who's worthy of my time? Who's worthy of my compassion? Who's worthy of my generosity or assistance? Um, and ultimately, that's not how God operates, um, which isn't to say that there's there's no benefit to being good or to striving to do what is pleasing to God. You know, that that is, you know, we've talked about that, that emerges from a life that is touched by God's love, but that mercy and love come first. And so if that's what God's like, then maybe you just invite us to consider for our devotional tonight, how does that filter into our own lives and the way that we look at ourselves? Maybe even more importantly, how we look at others as we both receive and extend uh, the love of God 
that came to us in the person of Jesus. Wherever you are in your journey uh, today, whatever's going on, uh, may the love of God be very evident to you and through you. Blessings and peace.